Duchess of Winston, Winstminster Handicap Chase, which is race nine. Here on day one, it's over three miles and 0 to 160 handicap. Scottish half for Stu Gray, top of the weights. Lawley Sound for Darren Thompson, eights defences Joshua Southern, Argyle Gate for Jim Murray, Hawthorne for James Forrest, Fantasy Man for David Robertson, Moonlit for Carl Arroganti, Lord Babushka for Martin Leedham, Cuisine for Carl Arroganti, Blame Game for Pontypool, Radio Missile Alex Jerry, Asferu for Daniel French, Mary Munger Mitch for Del Hinton, and Outlaw Torn for Obi Wan. And the one that's already had a two length advantage from the start is eights defences. Although he's going to be swamped now as they go over the first of 18. And we're going to be led by Outlaw Tom for OB1. Now, flat handicapper. So it's Outlaw Tom from Cuisine and Ash Faroo the Great. The Great in it. Taking over towards the fence. And wait to go over these three miles. We get over the second. And a poor jump there by Scottish Half, who's demoted himself into the last place. And over the third. Oh, we've lost one there. Eight's defences has gone. To Josh, there. It's a couple of fallers I've called. You don't have a second one in this to, to still challenge. As we see him going off out to the woods, we're being led by Ashfrew and Cuisine. So, this is the Duchess of Westminster, be the Grosvenor family. I can't remember what her name is. I think the current one's called a Natalie. Um, I think she married, I think she was a Phillips. Which is the same as Mark Phillips, obviously, as we all well know. They will keep it in the family. That supposed blue blood. But we're 3 5 here, so it's Ash Faru. Takes them over the fifth. Leads with Cuisine and Outlaw Taunt. And they've got about a seven length advantage from our gold gate and moonlit. And there's Lord Babushka, fantasy man against the fence of the yellow cap. The wider of those is Hawthorne. And we've got blame game there, radio missile. Towards the Fence, and we've got Scottish Half, Mary Mungo, Midge, and Lawley Sound just towards the rear. So they have a circuit to go, they're going to come alongside the grandstand shortly. They're over the seventh, everybody takes that well. And it's still Ash Faru that leads us from Cuisine and Outlaw Dawn. Daniel French Horse leading. Arroganti and Obi Wan. Got about a six length of range from Fantasy Man and Argyle Gate. They were together. And a half a length back to Radio Missile. Hawthorne out wide against the fence. Scottish half getting in a better position. Pontypool's blame game. Martin Leedham's Lord Babushka. Dell's Mary Mungo and Midge. And Carl's second horse, Moonlit. Darren Thompson's Lawley Sound. They're all over the eighth. Moonlit didn't get over it particularly well. Still got another ten fences to negotiate. A mile and a half to travel, and we're just being led by Ash Faru now from Outlaw Torn and Cuisine. Those three have been up front together. Another poor jump there by Scottish Half going over the ninth. Don't do himself any favours with 12 stone on his back. And it's Ash Faru that leads us. One that's just getting a little bit detached at the moment is Moonlit towards the rear. He'll be falling into that dreaded pull up zone. And about a 10 furlong mark, we usually lose the first. So it's Ash Faru. Still leads us by two to Outlaw Torn and Cuisine. Fantasy Man's moved up to be a little bit closer now. We get over the tenth, including Moonlit towards the rear. He's being pushed along now to try and get onto the back of the pack. No, nope, there he goes, he's being pulled up. You could see that coming a mile off. So it's Outlaw Torn and Asfaru. These two leading us now, neck and neck. They've got about a length and a half out. Oh, there's a poor jump there by Outlaw Torn, went through the top. And we've lost one. Radio Missile's gone there. Bad luck. The next, uh, the twelfth, and we're just being led by Asfru on his own now. It's by about three to Outlaw Torn Cuisine and Fantasy Man together. And a length or so back to Mary Mungo and Midge Hawthorne, Blame Gang and Argyle Gate. And we're losing another one now. Lawley Sounds being pulled up. And they're just being followed by the three at the rear at the moment. Oh, it's two at the rear. There's an empty horse, a Scottish Half and Lord Babushka. With, uh, it's number 11, Radio Missile, running in between those two without his jockey. They're over the 13th. Everybody's over it. So it's still Asfaru that leads by about three to Cuisine. And Fantasy Man's running well. Mary Mungo and Midge on the outside. Outlaw Torn still there. Blame Game and Hawthorne. And then length back to Argyle Ga Gate. And then Scottish Half and Lord Babushka. The commentators sticking together towards the rear. Get over this big ditch over the 15th. Everybody's over it. 
Um, still being led by Ashfaru, but his uh, advantage is down to half a length now from Cuisine, Fancy Man, Mary Mungo and Midge. Then we've got Hawthorne and the three of Argyle Gate making some, a good move. Blame Game and Outlaw Torn will run now. A bit of steam. The two from the rear running on really well now. Scratch Half and Lord Babushka as they go over the 16th. Oh, we lost one there. Cuisine's gone. There's another Carl Arrogante out of the race. So it's Ashfaru from Mary Mungo and Midge. Fancy Man and Argyle Gate. A length to Blame Game, Outlaw Torn. Scottish Half and Lord B Babushka are all there. So it's Ash Faroo, been there since the beginning, heads for home inside the th four furlongs, we've had about three furlongs left to run, about half a length advantage from Argyle Gate, blame game, Mary Mungo and Midge all running on, the one that seems to have got nowhere to go is Fantasy Man, and they're a good couple of lengths ahead of the re remainder, which are Hawthorne, Babushka and Outlaw Torn and Scottish Half, but up front over the 17th, a really poor jump by the leader has allowed Argyle Gate for Jim Murray to take it up, Argyle Gate leads by about a length and a half, being chased down by his Scottish compatriot Fantasy Man. Man. So it's Argyle Gate and Fantasy Man, the two Scotsmen, a Welshman in third. But it's Argyle Gate and Fantasy Man as they go over the last. A poor jump by Fantasy Man has allowed Argyle Gate to start pulling away here. He's got about a five length advantage from Fantasy Man in second. Ash Fuller in third. Running on really well for fourth is Lord Babushka. Tight for fifth between Mary Munger and Midge. And Blame Game. So the winner was Argyle Gate for Jim Murray. Well done. Second, Fantasy Man for David Robertson. Third, Ash Faru for Daniel French. Fourth, Lord Babushka, Martin Leedlam. Fifth, Mary Mungo, Midge Del Hinton. I'll tell you what.